Sixth grade, module one, lesson 23, problem set. Number one, who walks at a faster rate? Someone who walks 60 feet in 10 seconds or someone who walks 42 feet in six seconds? So let's start with 60 feet in 10 seconds. So if we did 60 divided by 10, that would come down to 60 divided by 10 is six feet per second. And then 42 feet in six seconds Forty two divided by six is seven feet per second. So the person who would walk fastest, six feet per second or seven feet per second, would be this one. Forty two feet in six seconds. Number two, who walks at a faster rate? Someone who walks sixty feet in ten seconds, or someone who takes five seconds to walk twenty five feet. So we already know that sixty feet in 10 seconds was equal to six feet per second from the last question. So then the next one, five seconds to walk 25 feet or 25 feet in five seconds. 25 divided by five is five feet per second. So this time, the person who's walking fastest, six feet per second would be faster than five feet per second. So it would be the first person. Number three, which parachute has a slower descent? A red parachute that falls 10 feet in four seconds or a blue parachute that falls 12 feet in six seconds? So let's start with the red one. Might as well change it to red. So 10 feet in four seconds would be 10 fourths, or if we make that a mixed number, four goes into 10 two times with two left over, two and two fourths, so two and a half feet per second for the red one. And then the blue one would be 12 feet and six seconds. and 12 divided by 6 is 2 feet per second. So which one is falling faster or which one has a slower descent? So either 2.5 feet per second or 2 feet per second. So the slower de descent would be 2 feet per second. It's make important that you read that closely because it was if it was asking for the faster one, we would have picked the red one. But since it's asking for the slower one, it's the blue. Number four. During the winter of 2012-2013, Buffalo, New York received 22 inches of snow in 12 hours. Oswego, New York received 31 inches of snow over a 15-hour period. Which city had a heavier snowfall rate? Round your answers to the nearest hundredth. So let's start with... Buffalo. So Buffalo got 22 inches in 12 hours. So we can do 22 divided by 12. It can only go in once. Now it wants us to round our answers to the nearest hundredth. So I'm going to put my decimal point down and bring down a zero. So 12 can go into 100. Let's see, 12 times 8 is 96. So it could go in 8 times. Put a zero down and keep going. 12 goes into 43 times. 3 times 12 is 36. Running out of room. And I'll put another zero down because I'm trying, I'm rounding to the hundredths place, which means I need to go to the thousandths place. So 12 goes into 43 times. And that's all we need to know. So we get 1 and 833 thousandths. But I need to round to the hundredths place. So since there's a 3 right there, the 3 is going to stay the same. So 1 and 83 hundredths 
inches per hour for buffalo. For Oswego, they get 31 inches in 15 hours. So let's do 31 divided by 15. Same thing, I'm gonna continue by bringing down zero. So 15 can't go into 10, so I'll put a zero up there. Bring down another zero, 15 can go into 100. Let's try 15 times seven. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3, that's a little too big, so it can only go in 6 times. So that is 90, and then we need to go to, to the thousands place. So I'm going to bring down another 0, we have 100 again, so we get 2 and 66 thousandths, but I need to round. So that would round to a seven, because it's six or higher. So two and seven hundredths inches per hour. And we want to know which had a heavier snowfall rate. So two and seven hundredths per hour, or one and eighty-three hundredths per hour. So two and seven hundredths is more snow per hour. So our answer is Oswego. Number five, a striped marlin can swim at a rate of 70 miles per hour. Is this a faster or slower rate than a sailfish, which takes 30 minutes to swim 40 miles? So a striped marlin can swim 70 miles seventy miles per hour. The sailfish takes 30 minutes to swim 40 miles. So the first thing I notice is this is, they're both in miles, but we're talking in an hour, and then this is in minutes. So they're not the same unit. So what I need to do is either change them both to minutes or change them to hours. So I'm just, I know that one hour is 60 minutes. So this is saying they need to go 70 miles in 60 minutes. This is 30 minutes, which is half. So if I want to get to 60 minutes, so then I'm able to compare, I need to multiply by 2 over 2. That gets me to 60 minutes, and 40 miles times 2 would be 80 miles. So this, in one hour or in 60 minutes, the sailfish goes 80 miles per hour. So who is going faster? Is this a faster or slower rate than the sailfish? So we would say that the marlin is a slower rate than the sailfish. And number six, one math student, John, can solve six math problems in 20 minutes, while another student, Joaquin, can solve the same six math problems at a rate of one problem per four minutes. Who works faster? So we've got John, who solves six math problems in 20 minutes, Then we have Joaquin, who solves the same six math problems at one problem every four minutes. So 
there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm just going to figure out, okay, well, if it takes him four minutes for one problem, how much time would it take him for six problems? So that would be six problems times six, and four times six is 24 minutes compared to John who solves six problems in 20 minutes. So who works faster? That would be John because he's finishing sooner. It takes him 20 minutes rather than 24 minutes.